Hello everyone, here with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2024 review, and this one's on Ollivander's and Madame Malkin's uh, robes. Is that it's recent? That got recently released, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the box, here we have the LEGO Harry Potter logo, Wizarding World logo, and the same border that we've had for a while, and picture of the set that there is in Diagon Alley and all the minifigs included and recommended ages is eight and up set number seven six four three nine has seven hundred forty four pieces on the back side of it you can see kind of the uh, interior looks that there are of both the buildings and in view or little selected pictures is that the of the interior spaces and also how I can combine with uh, last year's with or with last year's Diagon Alley set that there is well with the Honey Dukes one from last year of course but yeah and on to the manuals which you get two of in this set one for each building or one of each shop of which so obviously could share with two different people, of course, but however, which kind of odd CGI renderings that they've been doing over the last couple of years, and also the amount of bags for each part of it, of course. And the first one, which advertisement of tra the transition of plastic bags to paper bags, and also ad for the builder app, and then on the back side, how to win on the online survey. Advertisement of the Hogwarts uh, room and sections uh, sets three of which that I have previously reviewed Then the last building steps for that Other one of which um, On the back side just the Lego logo and the uh, brick template background to that there is Then all the pieces that come with the set of course And then the last building steps. And so now on to the mini pick. Looks included. Now, first off, we which have is young Harry Potter, of which is kind of similar to some previous sets that there were. Or, well, with this, well, face print and hair piece, same as from earlier sets, and then plain, uh, short size legs, of course, and then also quite good, unique torso printing, and of course, holding the dark brown wand piece. And then next we have a uh, Padma Patel, yeah, and then who, which does have some with a quite unique uh, dark nougat uh, headpiece with good printing and good torso printing and nice use of that uh, hair piece in black, of course. So that is not much to say, but yeah, and then next to which you have a uh, Garak Ollivander. Oh, wait. Two of which has some quite nice uh, torso printing and also lack of leg printing, you know, which kind of an odd thing with some uh, recent figs that there are. Probably for with not much going on the legs of some of these characters, of course. There's and also quite good torso or quite good face printing and also the recent Doc Brown uh, hair piece, but in uh, gray. Nice to see there, and then. Next to which we have Madame Malkin, which was a nice purple uh, to her. They're kind of similar to that of Dolores Umbridge's. Well, can definitely be useful there. And then, well, quite nice for that. And also with a tape measure on the printing, uh, which kind of good to see there. Although it would be nice if there would, if this could have been, could have done fine without that. But maybe that's just me. Yeah. But also the dress slope piece. Quite good printing on that as well, and then the face printing, quite 
nice for that and then also nice use of this hat piece which is like witch's hat with a little hole for a knight's plume on there which is nice to see and then next to which have random witch figure which with that with this hat piece kind of similar that we saw on previous figs and also on the recent um, Professor McGonagall for that and then also quite good torso printing and plain uh, dress slow piece printing and holding a few red flowers of course and then uh, lastly we have uh, just a random wizard for that but with quite good torso printing and common hair piece and and I think the face print might be common as well but yeah and also plain like printing and of which resting all on you in a wheelchair or piece to that like we saw on human Jake Sully in the avatar sets for that and then to the back sides of each of the figs and that Harry and Padma or I mean all of which do have a nice back torso printing and also good double side faces as you can see there but whereas with, with with Madame Malkin this torso printing can definitely be useful with some Wild West minifigs or early London liver minifigs if you wanted but it, or London dweller figs if you want and also a little more of that tape measure printing on the back Part of which good nice to see there and also nice texturing for Harry's back torso printing but yeah and that is about it with these mini fig selection now yeah. oh and also you get two little extra side builds to that which is this little flower cart which is quite simplistic like get a couple of carriage wheels right here and also just a few plates and inverted jagged slopes and also this holder piece to for a fig to hold on to and cart around of course and then also still a crate like piece with a couple of flower bits to which one of which in lightish yellow and one in blue of course But otherwise, just quite simplistic. Oops. Oh, sorry about that. But continuing on, there's also this little street sign that, that is also quite simplistic, which you can also add in a Diagon Alley box if you wanted. It asks you just on a corner plate and also this street sign piece and then also a few uh, uh, sign tiles that have stickers to them like one pointing out to Green Gotts Bank most likely the uh, recent big large released one and also to quality quidditch supplies that way and then one for flourish uh, blocks right this way Not much else to say about this one, but yeah. And now on to the main image. Starting out with Madame Mulkin's shop, which oh, is kind of similar and obviously quite almost like the like last year's uh, Honey Dukes set, obviously, and of course can attach to that, obviously. And also kind of good consistent color scheme of of like light gray darkish purple and lavender and a bit of gold and a little black here and there like front side of which do you have this kind of te nice texture of this of these uh, other 
of window like pieces that curve around the course and then also these door pieces in dark blue like we kind of saw in some like friends and possibly elves as sets of course and then on both sides which sides which are these uh, large panel pieces that have large stickers onto them so there's quite a few stick quite a lot of stickers in this set so be aware of that and then also and also if you notice these uh, two pinhole bricks which you can attach to to the Ollivanders building as well and also to Honey Dukes as well of course and then on the side which got a 2000 for a broom and a missing uh, dragon egg uh, flyer on there and then other side of which sort of the same stuff but saying school robes and fancy hats for fancy witches and so on and, and, yeah. and then continue on, on with this front side of which well there's a bit of asymmetry here like one of which nothing and one that has a clip piece with a gold scissor piece in there and then also this uh, curved slope saying Madame Wilkins and then this front top corner which which is a bunch of like brick bricks as some call them and then also a little sign sticking outwards with mm for madame Mulkins, of course and then also a little light post here as well and then also same texture as on the front floor but this for this upper floor as well and then also do have this nice little texture done with a little a hinge piece in it as well. Uh, just a little inter unique build to it, and also uh, three gray cones on top of which, of course. Then, as for the interior part of which, back for the first floor, of which have sort of a, a cash register, and also one of these uh, unique. Uh, flat studs that have some nice printing to them which is with some dragon like some symbol on it as well it was good to see there and also one of the few printed pieces in this set and also have these little wardrobe mannequins which do have a mini fig uh, torso pieces that have printings on it but which aren't really counted as mini things, of course. But however, the torso printings, one that you can definitely use on some custom things if you wanted. But yeah. And then there's a panel that has an extra sticker on the interior part, which also has a different kind of border saying MM for Madame Mulkins, of course. And also one with a bit of a dresser drawer part of it. Uh, not sure why it's like that. Although it would have been nice if it was brick built, of course, but whatever. And then the other side of which, another one of that, but with a shelf that has a hanging rack with a couple ties and scarf on it, of course. And then the center part, which has a little uh, flower like build with those uh, little stem parts, but in uh, bright blue. For that and a flower piece in blue nice to see there and further above of that have sort of this little jar like build with a fez in it and then also a nice little build for a sewing machine for that and a couple stick and a scissor on top of that and also a little build and also a car door piece most mostly represented as like extra piece of fabric to it and then right above are a couple of plain white mini fig heads that have different hat pieces on them. This kind of piece and also a top hat piece for course, of course. And another one of those builds for that of wardrobe dummies. And also have a couple of different uh, fabric pieces in both green and red. Maybe representing both Gryffindor and Slytherin of course. And then right underneath the witch is another large sticker with some different that has a shelf with different things on them like a couple plates a tea, teapot and teacup and a bunch of other fabrics of course and then also 
not much of a lure on here, which is a couple of lavender uh, uh, wedge plates on there. Although it would be nice if it was a full floor to that, so probably like this to get better access when reaching into it. But yeah, although what would have been better is if it was a whole plate on there and also have it uh, removable, of course. Well, but that's just me. And that is about it with my Mulkins one. And now onto the Ollivanders building, which is kind of similar to that, kind of similar to the last one we looked at. But also with a stay color scheme of like a darkish gray, black, and dark tan, and also light gray as well to that. One good solid color scheme, and also with the trans yellow as well. Or like this, like the bottom part of which, which has this little unique uh, build to it, where it's these like rounded plates with uh, telescope pieces around them, and then also a couple of cheese slopes and regular jagged slopes on there, leading to the regular door piece in black for that, which opens and closes like so, and. Also, those same pieces as we saw on Madame Mulkins, but in black, and also window pieces in trans yellow, of course. Then on the sides of which are a couple of regular Technic uh, pin bricks, but also but one of which that has the uh, pins in them. Obviously, it's for the two to attach together, of course, as well as to the uh, Honey Dukes building from last year, of course other side would same kind of thing still for the front part is like right above which are other curved slopes that say that have with stickers saying Ollivanders on them and then also a little upper have just bricks stacked on bricks but using the brick bricks as some call them and also a mini window part to it and a lot more of those trans yellow windows around it and then also this little assemblage that consists of this little sign piece that has been around since like uh, the late A's with Fabuland and also in the original 2001 Hogwarts set for that but kind of interesting seeing it in a set and at this time at this moment point in time of course but also with a unique sticker piece that's probably saying O for Ollivanders or something and then right above the which is, is some like inverted jagged slopes in a darkish tan, of course. And also all these plate pieces, or I mean 2x4 tiles. And also a little build to this chimney part, of course. So on a couple of hinges as well. But yeah. Then on the back side of it. Which, as you can see, just quite a lot of spaces to that, but and also this little spot for a cash register, and also same flower build as in the other build to it, and also this little lamp build consisting of a telescope piece and a fez piece. But you can like open these two up like so, and then quite good symmetry on both sides, but. One of which has different wand pieces in nougat and others in dark brown, which is nice to see there. And also you get a lot of little jumpers and or well jumpers and regular and by one uh, plate pieces to make up like different boxes of wands. But however, one actual box of wands you can actually pull right out and then have this little box of it that you can open up and put a wand piece in there if you wanted. So it's one that's easily removable, but the rest of which are mostly stationary. But also do have this little uh, ladder-like assembly, which is consistent of regular bar or fence bar pieces that go upwards, and then also to this uh, a tile area on top of which they can slide back and forth like so. Which this technique could definitely be used in a large library uh, block if you wanted, but yeah. And then further upwards, you have a couple of 
a little bit of snock technique with a couple of click pieces and also with a couple more of different wand pieces as well. But yeah. And also barely much of anything in this upper area. Unless if you can find some things to mod into it if you wanted. And then also on both sides of it are the little fence pieces with these as well. But there. And also can like swivel in and out boards. I just like that. And I'll get out of there. But also, as for the pins on there, which is so you can attach the yellow building onto it like that, or what you could also do is take those out and do it with the ones on the other side, of course. So you can like pop and swap it however you want. Oh, it's like that. Also, same with the Honey Dukes set last year as well. Oh, it's being like your, or you can make your own arrangements of Diagon Alley, of course. I think this is, I think this was a kind of good set for how it is. Like, do you get two unique little shops that there are, and also a whole lot of unique shaped wand pieces, of course, and also nice to have Madame Mulkin in a set, and also really in a set really in a set related to her, of course, and also nice to have the little sign like pieces indicating the different shops of Diagon Alley, of course, and hopefully we get quality quidditch supplies as a separate build instead of in the future instead of like exclusive to the big large 2020 Diagon Alley of course it was sort of like we did with uh, Honey Dukes and Ollivanders here of course and uh, what else to say not much but yeah and also as for the mini fig selection, quite good unique selection of figs, of course. First, but nothing else to say to that to that, but yeah. Then also quite unique, and also this does work out as good parts pack of like purple and lavender and light and dark gray and black and also a lot of yellow window pieces. Nice to add to a large Diagon Alley mock or whatever mock you want. And also, as for the price point of which, oh, it's kind of steep for how it is. Well, although 80 would have been kind of fair, well, for the $90 that it is, although 70 or 80 would have been as much fairer for it, but yeah. But of course, it's kind of, since this is a license theme, and you gotta pay for that licensing somehow, but yeah, whatever. But as is, which is still quite good for how it is, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set to connect with your, with last year's uh, Honey Dukes set, to which then definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to uh, add this to a Diagon Alley display and all, then also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.